Leviticus chapter 20, verses 10 and 11 define adultery for us. What is adultery according to Scripture? The Word says, If there is a man who commits adultery with another man's wife, one who commits adultery with his friend's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. If there is a man who lies with his father's wife, he has uncovered his father's nakedness. Both of them shall be surely be put to death. Their blood guiltiness is upon them. The Moorish Bible Dictionary defines adultery. The beginning portion of their definition says, This was forbidden in the Ten Commandments, but neither there nor anywhere else is the sin defined. It seems clear that as far as the man was concerned, if he had intercourse with a woman, unless it was with a married woman, he would not be charged with adultery, though he himself might be married. Indeed, how could he be when he was allowed more wives than one, as well as concubines and slaves? If he committed adultery with a married woman or with one betrothed, both were to be put to death. This is an exact explanation of what Scripture actually says with regards to marriage. The therefore. Adultery always depends on the marital status of the woman. A man, even if married, cannot commit adultery with a single woman. If a man has sexual relations or intercourse with a single woman, he becomes responsible for her, or it would be fornication. Polygyny is not a sin, but adultery, taking another man's wife, is. If this has blessed you, please make sure that you like, share especially, and subscribe. And we appreciate your comments. Use the QR code on the screen to access a blog that has many resources for study and understanding. It will take you to natsav.com forward slash biblical marriage. And that will give you many more resources in addition to this YouTube channel. For King and Kingdom, I bid you shalom.